I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Today we're going to be planking and uh, I'm always looking for something that I can have that will really I won't destroy on a shot so that I can have a uh, more shooting tip and also have a good sound tip. Well, it's really strange because these seafoam cans just seem to be perfect and I've shot them with a lot of different pellets and you know pellets they, they will really destroy this stuff and I, I haven't had that problem but today I'm for the first time I'm going to be using it with the Gamo Swarm and I'll be shooting at uh, 10 meters and we're just going to have to see what happens with this. I mean, maybe I'll really punch some holes in these with this thing. I'm not sure. Uh, I've used my NXG, my Umarex NXG, and I pumped it up pretty good, up to 10 pumps. And, you know, you're shooting about 800 uh, feet per second with that at that rate, where this one's got a 1300 kick. So we're just going to see what happens with this. Uh, hopefully it won't punch a lot of holes in Like I said, I really like them. But one of the things I like about something like this is it makes a noise so that I can say, did I re-hit that? You know, you, you might hit it, so it'll just maybe move or something. Right? Well, this thing will make a noise if you have it stationary or whatever, but most of the time it'll re pop right off real good. I'm using some uh, Dual Outdoors uh, stands that are the perches that you use for the uh, knockout discs that they have. And so what we're gonna do though now is we're gonna shoot at these and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna take a look at them and see what I did to them. And as I said, I'm, I'm sure they're going to hold up and uh, for some reason these seafoam cans really make a nice noise and they also hold up pretty good. So we're going to take a shot at it. Well, I shot at the cans all right, and uh, they didn't hold up to this uh, Gamo Swarm. They, it went right through them. In fact, that one that I shot went right through and got the second one. Every one of them has got a hole in them, and they had no holes at all before. So that's what happened. Went right through one of them and hit the other one and took it out as well. I should have just shot the back one and been done with it. Had one misfire for some reason. It uh, just didn't fire that pellet. But otherwise, I hit every one first shot, and as you can see, right here, there you are, it went right through it, and it went through every one of those, and my others, no, my other pellet guns haven't been doing that, so, you know, if you want to keep shooting these a lot, I mean, I can still shoot these, no problem, there's only one hole in them right now, but, uh, if I shoot with, say, my Gamo P900 pistol, uh, it won't go through those. Uh, and if I shoot at a lower velocity on my NXG, my Umarex, uh, it won't go through it either. It, it'll just knock them off, which is a good one for planking. I mean, you just plank away, you know, and you can set them back up, shoot again, shoot again, and shoot again, and you won't have to. Yeah, you'll put some dents in them, but, you know, no big deal. And as you can see, you had a good noise to them. So no big deal when you knock it over, you know you hit, but if you're just not too sure, uh, it'll let you know because it's a good clang to it. So like I said, the old uh, swarm, the Gamo swarm, did the job, that's for sure. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day at Blinky.